Hey everyone, welcome to the platform. I hope everyone's doing well and safe. This is the fifth video on cloud financial management series. And in this video, we'll talk about the unified management and billing console provided by AWS during this reInvent. Now, we have seen the billing console, but this is a bit different where the different services are getting integrated. One, Cost Explorer is getting integrated. So you will see based upon the tag, you can do a show back and charge back to the departments plus then uh, you will also see an integration with the cost anomaly when i say cost anomaly detection it's basically where what is the reason that my cost was high during certain amount of time and for rest of the month it was low so there is there was some sort of spike so those sort of uh, integration is also available within your billing and management console, the unified one. For that, you have to create a cost monitor. If you don't create a cost monitor, obviously the anomaly detection is not possible. Okay. So those sorts of integration we are getting with the unified management console, the unified billing and management console to be a specific. Now benefits, you are getting an insight to the spending trend, right? Plus the anomaly detection. Second, you are getting a prioritization with a tailored recommendation. So you are also getting a recommendation over here. Seamlessly transitioning uh, from an insight to an action to a clear call, what you have to do. So that's what the new billing and management console is all about. So let me go back to my AWS billing and management console. So if you go to billing and management console and click on the home, as you can see, it's new. Here, what I'm getting, month to date cost. Okay, $30, the forecast, $57, last month data and last month uh, total uh, cost. So if you click on bill, like view bill, obviously this is also a new console, which I haven't covered it. It was launched uh, quite some time back, like few months back, I would say they, they given this the new console. Here you can see all sorts of charges or the services that I, you have used. So let me go back to home again. On the right hand side, you see cost monitor. Now that's what the anomaly detection is all about. So once you configure the cost monitor, the recommendation action and all those stuff will come over here. So create a cost anomaly monitor to automatically detect the anomalies. So that's where uh, uh, the data will come. Then cost breakdown based upon the services that I have used, it is coming from cost explorer. Now, uh, service, account, region, cost allocation tag, category, category is most, more of your cost centers, I would say. Now, based upon the cost allocation coverage, that's where you are getting it like department, right? I have 10 departments, then I will be able to charge those 10 department. But yeah, depend upon company to company. Cost allocation tag, we are getting it over here. And obviously the saving opportunity. Uh, we have enabled cost optimization hub. So this is a back to back video. I'm still waiting for data to come. So once the data comes over here, like the optimization hub will show the data over here after 24 hours or so. Okay. So that's what the new billing and management console. I'm not, I'm not sure, uh, what is the reset layout, but yeah, uh, it's basically, so let's do a reset. It's a default one. So. I haven't uh, created any new thing over here. Okay. So I hope this clears a lot in terms of the new unified billing and management console. This was uh, given to us during this reinvent. So I just wanted to cover it as part of the cloud financial management. This is useful. I'm not saying this is not useful. This is useful for uh, the finance team, the FinOps uh, team, you can say that. And uh, I haven't used any APIs for this. I don't know if there is any API or uh, available or not yet but this is fairly a new dashboard that you can see over here so play uh, just play around it and uh, place out a comment in comment section if you're facing any issue i'll be there to help you have a nice day bye bye